It's been seven years since Case Garpone lost her son Joe to an accidental overdose, but his loss still feels as raw as ever. It never goes away. It it stays with my family. Joe was an all-American kid, his mother says, with a passion for service. He joined the Marines at just 18, but when he came home, his family says PTSD left him seeking comfort from opioids and eventually street drugs. My family, you know, my family's been affected by the opioid crisis and we will never be the same. But Kay says there is hope on the horizon for other families after the Attorney General's office announced the state would receive $57 million in funding from a new settlement with CVS and Walgreens over their alleged mishandling of the opioid crisis. It's a huge impact for New Hampshire. It's millions of dollars that, that are coming into the state now. All of that money is going to be used for opioid abatement purposes. Funding will help provide critical treatment and education to those in need. And try and prevent people from dying every day from, from opioid overdoses. And Kay says she's hopeful this new funding will be the change needed to save lives. No settlement's ever going to bring back my son or the 500,000 lives have been affected. But the, the settlement and the agreement will help people get into treatment and recovery, which is what my son didn't have and CVS and Walgreens both say they are committed to addressing this ongoing crisis. Live in Concord, Ariel Metropolis, WMUR News 9.